Hi everyone, this is Eileen from SingaporeOlevelMax.com. In today's video, I will carry on the discussion of the 2017 O-Level AMAX Paper 1. Uh, in fact, it's the last question on the topic of circle. Circle itself is a challenging topic for many students as the questions are always so interesting and it seems like it's always um, very different from what you have learned. So today, um, let me share with you on this interesting question. The question goes like this. It's a short question. There are two parts to it. And this question is worth 10 marks. 10 marks. I'm going to break it down into two parts. So here goes the question. The equation of the normal to the circle, x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 24y plus 96 equals to 0, at the point r, is 3y plus 4x equals to k. Part 1. Find the value of the constant k. Now this is a 5 marks question. So looking at constant k, it is actually in the equation of your normal, which is also equation of a line. So first of all, before you even start the question, you've got to understand to find the unknown k, you must have one point on the normal. I repeat, you must have one point on the normal. I always recommend my students to draw a diagram when it comes to circle question, as it helps us to visualize it clearly. So you are given equation of circle, you are given equation of normal. On the diagram that you see over here, I have actually drawn the circle. I have actually put in the tangent because it has a very important relationship to normal. So let me just put it down. Now, as you all know, normal and tangent, they are a pair of perpendicular lines. All right? And we have no also under properties of circle. Um, if this is perpendicular to your tangent, basically, we can conclude that the normal passes through the center. Now, this is a very important property that will help you to solve part one, which is to find k. Now, let's take a look at the equation of this circle. This is a full equation. So, you should know that based on this equation here, okay, let me just reference it to the general equation. There are actually different way for different way for you to do this question. I'm going to use a short way. But to use this short way, there are things that you need to remember. So this is the general form of the equation of a circle. So are you aware that center is represented by minus g minus f? Now applying this knowledge, okay, what can I conclude? I can conclude with you that 2g is equals to 8, g therefore is equals to 4, negative g therefore is negative 4. Similarly, for 2f, by observing this equation that is given to us, it is equals to negative 24, f is equals to negative 12, negative f is equals to 12. So we conclude center of the circle is basically negative 4 comma 12. Let me just update on the diagram here. Negative 4 comma 12. Now, remember what I told you, you know, to find k, we need one point on the normal. And bingo, that point is none other than center of circle. So with that, what I can do, let me carry on my working here. Um, when x is equals to negative 4, y is equals to 12, I substitute into equation of normal. And I conclude that my value of k is 20. And that's how you find the value of k of 5 marks question. Now we're going to carry on with uh, part 2 of this question, another 5 marks. Here's the second part. The normal to the circle at R meets the x-axis at point S. 
Given that R lies between S and the center of circle, find the length of RS. So let me mark out, roughly mark out where is my point S. Let's say for example, point S is somewhere here. Okay, let me just point out, this is point S. And since we are told that this point is where the x-axis is, so which means to say the coordinate of this point will be something comma zero. So are we able to find this easily now that we know what is k? Definitely. So let me just put down, so this part here was part one. Let me shift down the paper a little bit. Okay, part two. When y is equals to zero, so substitute this into equation of the normal. 4x is equals to k. k we have found it is 20. So x is equals to 5. So therefore, you know the coordinates of s, point s, which is 5, comma, 0. Now, part 2 of the question wants to find the length of rs. Basically, this part here. So, now, look at this diagram that I have drawn. What we have to do is to find the distance from center to point S, subtract away this part, and this part is none other than the radius of the circle. And can we find the radius easily? Definitely. Allow me to go back to part one. Now, let me bring your attention to this general form of circle. We have talked about center being negative g, negative f. Do you know that there is also a little formula for radius? Radius is given by this formula, square root g square plus f square minus c. So if we apply this to this equation of circle, what will the radius be? We have known what is g, it is 4. We have known what is f, is negative 12 squared. Minus what c? Now c is basically this constant here. Let me just circle it for you. It's positive 96. So, alright, use your calculator. You work it out to get 8 units. So the radius is basically 8 units. So now the question is, how do we find the center of the circle to point S? Let me just slide it down a little bit. Distance between center and point S. Since we have the coordinates of these two points, Therefore, we make use of our distance formula. So here we go. 5 minus, minus negative 4 square plus 0 minus 12 whole thing square. And this works out to give us 15 units. Therefore, we conclude the length of Rs is simply 15 minus 8, which is 7 units. So this is how we solve the 5 marks question for part 2. Now you see that things look relatively easy with the diagram. So once again, I'll just like to remind you for circle question, always draw a diagram. It will definitely help you with the question. Thank you for your attention. I'll see you in the next video.